Welcome back to the morning show. It's a great day to learn about agriculture and what better way to do so than with our Ag in the Classroom segment. With me now, Julie Ancock from the Champaign County Farm Bureau Foundation. Julie, you're one of the Ag educators for Champaign County. Tell us a little bit about what you do in schools. Uh, I travel around to the surrounding schools of Champaign-Urbana and I give a 30-minute Ag lesson we cover our food, our fibers, and our fuels. And kids really love when they get to you know, do a lesson that's interactive. And it's great that they're learning about agriculture, where their food's coming from. Yeah. Today, something that resonates with me as a meteorologist, we're learning about water. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what we're doing today for our lesson. We're gonna learn about the water cycle. That's important for yes, agriculture. And you know, sometimes the farmers, they're asking for a little more water here and there. <laughs> you know, the yes. water cycle is, is the, the basic foundation for meteorology. And, and it's important for a lot of industries, but agriculture in particular, how does this, you know, what are you doing with the kids here today? Well, what we try to explain to them is that the water that you're drinking and swimming in the lakes and, and everything is literally the same water that the dinosaurs were drinking yeah. and swimming in. So what we're doing is we're recycling the water daily. And there's three steps there, uh, four I guess we see on the graphic. We've got you know, the classic condensation, precipitation, evaporation, and then you've got collection where you know, the water ends up in rivers and streams and into the aquifers yeah. and things like that. You got a little lesson here for kids you've put together. Tell yeah. us a little bit about that. Would you that. like to do the lesson with would me? Would I? Yeah. Would I? Of course I would here. So the first step we do is we take our graphic and we're going to put it behind our little baggie. Okay. And get our marker out, and right. we're going to first draw our arrows to represent the four different stages. Okay, so I'm just going to copy over them, yes, right? Yes, you just copy right nice... over it, yep. Okay, so we're drawing arrows to show the movement between them here. And uh, is the graphic going in the bag, or is it just it's for tracing? It's going to stay outside the bag. You can tape it to the bag, or okay. you can actually write the words of collection, evaporation, precipitation or condensation precipitation on the bag. Okay. So you could do either or. And then okay. what we do is we take this bag and we're going to tape it really good to a window. All right. Okay. Because what powers the water cycle is sun. the sun. Yeah. yeah. So we need the sun from the window to heat up the water to then have the water evaporate and then it's going to collect at the top here and in condensation and that's where it pools into the clouds and everything and then when uh, the droplets get so big and heavy then that's when the rain's going to fall right mm -hmm. and collect back in the bottom of the bag yes so we're going to put a little water in the yes. bag right so i've got my arrows there how much water just About i just want a little a bit in the bottom there yeah so we're going to You just want to make sure when you're doing it in a group that you're doing the same amount for everybody. Yeah, so about yeah. A, that seemed to be I think about a quarter to half a cup or so. So that'll work. If it's too heavy, we got to add extra tape to hold it up in the yes. window, don't we? Yeah, you might want to use packing tape. There we go. Yeah. That would help out. So this is going to sit in the window. Kids can look at their graphic that they've got yeah. and they're going to see the steps of the water cycle if I can line up those lines there. There we go. Yeah. So you'll see all of that come together. What a great lesson, a great and way for kids great. to learn about that and uh, recycling water yes. in there. Now, the water cycle, again, it's purifying the water, which is the most magical part about it. Yes. And yes. so that's pretty exciting to see. Okay, if you want more on this lesson, learn about the water cycle, we've got some resources on our website, WCI.com. You can head over there. Also, if you're looking for your counties, Ag in the Classroom Coordinator, we'll link you to the statewide website that'll give you the Ag coordinators for your area. Give them a call, invite them to the classroom and learn more about agriculture.